What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is your blueprints determine the quality of your comeback. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So this morning, as I do my walk, do my my hill run, as always, right? I like to do these things out pretty. That's my mind's thinking the clearest, which comes down to a plan, right? Kind of kind of in unison of what I'm about to speak about. We all know what blueprints are, right? They're the the architect goes, he builds them for you. You're trying to build a house. He plans them out, takes a long time, puts all this work into them, and then he gives them to the construction workers. Each people have their own separate job to do, the concrete guy, the roofer, the heating and air guy, you know, electrician. Everybody's got their own thing. He's got these plans that they can follow. So if you're not familiar, I'm going to give you some secret sauce right now. If you're not familiar in how my program works or why it works or what it's about, I'm just going to lay it straight out to you right now. We live by a very, very specific code known as the Comeback 7. It's our core values. Faith finances, family, fitness, future, freedom, and foundation. That is the secret sauce, period. You can take that. If you're one of my, if you're one of my uh, comebacks, if you're one of this elite group of men taking back territory data, you already know this. If you're not, you can take this. You can run with it. We can show you how to do it, how to implement it and improve uh, the quality of your life quickly, or you can could just apply yourself straight up. That's it. There's more to it, but that's it. So what I laid out for you guys right there is the blueprint. It is the structure that you need to follow. Obviously, each person is going to be a little bit different. What I want you to understand is this. It is your blueprint, your plan, essentially, in each one of those that's going to determine the quality of your comeback. I'm just going to focus right now this second. I'll I'll touch on all bases. but I'm going to focus in right now on the family F. And I'm specifically going to speak about my relationship. I was the worst, period. Not a great boyfriend, didn't actually really give a fuck about girls. To be honest with you, I've always wanted to create big shit, do my businesses, could take them or leave them, didn't really care if I ever got married. Love my kid, I mean, it's a different story. But yeah, the the, the quality and the way that I literally lived that side of my life, it was not a big deal to me. Anyone inside, I really truly didn't give a fuck about them. That's just the way it was. Until one day, things changed. The right person showed up into my life. Now, I believe this is a direct like correlation to the way that I live my life, to the things that I do, to this core value that I did and hitting these other areas, right? I mean, for me, it was a big one. She found me at the gym and the next thing you know, so there's my fitness app and boom, stacks it in there and I'm working on my family. But anyway, she so she shows up. And what people see on the outside is some amazing stuff. Like there is no highlight reel, okay? I don't show highlight reels. I'm very fucking transparent. Everything we do, we've literally had zero fights. Not one fight. She'll tell you that I, yell, I yelled at her because I didn't want to take my pants off when I, when I was laying inside of the bed. But that's it. That's literally the biggest thing we've ever had. But what you don't see is the amount of work, the amount of connections, the amount of time I take out. The blueprint that I've actually laid out to make a decision and a choice to stand up and fucking rise to meet her expectations, to give her a level of trust into me that I didn't allow anyone else to have because she was worth it. And she is worth it. So I want you to understand this. Inside of your plan that you lay this out, I call it stacking the Fs. People are not going to see the work on the outside. It's what you do behind the doors. It's the blueprints that you read, the details that matter. When you're writing in your journal and you're focusing out, you're creating this vision so fucking strong that nothing can take it down. But you actually go and you do the work. A blueprint does nothing. It doesn't build a house, right? Let's talk about it. I'll just straight up lay out my blueprint for you across the seven Fs. My faith is this. I literally wake up in the morning. I pray. That it's, it's, I've been waking up praying for a long time. I go to a, a set of meditation, and then the meditation goes into speaking in my mantras, my I, I am statements. I will literally wake up every day, and I will say, I am a winner. I am a champion. I'm going to achieve my success, my goals. I'll repeat this shit fucking hundreds of times inside of my head before I even get out of bed in a matter of minutes, right? So as, I, as I'm coming to a rise, it literally sets the tone for me to wake up and fucking conquer. The next step, I literally go into my finances, check my bank account, make sure everything's good, move money where it needs to be. I already know what I'm doing from the night before because I've had a list of things that I want to do that I'm going to achieve inside of my financial sector. I'm going to get up. I'm going to pick out three massive moves that I can do each day. I'm going to fucking do them. And then I'm going to go into my family. I'm going to either roll, you know, spend time with my with Kendra. I'm going to do whatever it can be. I'm going to do exactly like I said. Send her the videos. Fucking take the hug. Stand inside the middle of the kitchen. Grab her ass. Kiss her. Whatever the fuck it is I need to do, I'm going to do it to make sure that I focus inside there. Then I'm going to go and do my gym shit. Today, I chose to run hills, 
go for a walk and listen to a podcast all at the same time to hit that and stack on the app. That's three things I needed to do right there. And I'm winning. My future is goal setting period every day. Today, I decided to break down my goals a little bit deeper. I've got my traditional life goals I'm going to hit. And I realized, you know what? I need to fucking focus more on some immediate shit that I can do in the next six months. For me, it's getting rid of some one lingering issue I have and I'm going to fucking handle it, own it, move on so I can get this internal freedom, which brings me to the next step, which is ultimately not exercising anger. I live in a town that I can't fucking stand, period. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my son's mother and now Kendra's uh, baby daddy or whatever, okay? the Jaden Jaden Bailey's um, dad. Good people. This is where they live. This is where they chose to live. I'm stuck here, period. So I walk around with a chip on my shoulder because half the fucking town hates me. I can't stand them, so I understand that I have to look at the anger that I have inside of me, and I need to reflect it out completely positive to try to change the approach that everyone looks at me, because at the end of the day, my kids got to grow up, you know, that's the right thing to do. My point is this. I've got a detailed blueprint day in and day out. I can stack as many as little as I want, but I make sure I hit one of those every single day. The quality of my life is determined, just like the quality of your comeback is determined by what you do day in and day out. If you're waking up every fucking day, Pissing your pants, drunk, fucking having to change the bed, angry, or maybe you didn't even drink, but you wanted to drink so fucking much that you were white knuckling it, thinking about it, taking away from the time of being present with your wife, with your kids, even from yourself, that you woke up this morning with an internal anger, it's time to fucking stop. No big shit can get done ever without work ethic, period. Period. I would not have clawed out of the hole four years ago. As a matter of fact, the time I'm filming this, I don't know when you're listening to this, but exactly seven days from today, I will be exactly four years clean and sober. I'll be four years on this comeback. I don't count days. I don't count chips. I don't count anything. I count experiences, memories, moments, and dollars. And now I count life's changed. And I want to help you change your life. But it's got to come down to you making a choice. A choice today to rise up and be the fucking man that you know you can be. A choice for you to live by a new fucking set of rules, your rules, not the alcohol's rules. A choice for you to fucking rise. A choice for you to type in Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply and become the fucking man you want to be. My brother, today is the day. If I can't compel you, take a look at your kids. Take a look at your business. Take a look at your health. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how badass you think you are. You cannot put poison and toxins into your body day in and fucking day out and expect to win and dominate the marketplace. And if you think you can, you're fucking lying to you. I want you to type in iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Fill out the questionnaire. Fill out the app. My team, myself, will leave you better than we found you. And it's time to stand up and take your life back. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast, my brother. Have an amazing day. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode.